Hello, my name is Rachel and welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for joining me today. If this is your first time, welcome. It's lovely to have you here. I hope you enjoy the workout today. And if you've been here before, you watch the channel regularly, thank you so much for your continued support. Really, really appreciate that. Now today, we're going to do Pilates for the knees. I've done another video which is a mat based one so you can look at that as well. This one is specifically for people who do not feel right now that they're able to get down on the floor to work the knees. It might be that your knees are at such a point that it's actually really uncomfortable. Okay so this will be very much a good routine for you to do. You want to try and do it at least two to three times a week. Okay, uh, because the more you get those muscles stronger, the more it's going to support you, but also help with that knee pain. And, and if you're able to get down on the floor uh, and you're seeing what this is about, this is really going to be beneficial too, because there's lots of different exercises to the ones I did on the floor. All right, so go ahead, get your chair. One thing I must tell you is do make sure that the chair you use is sturdy, okay? Because there will be some elements where you've got to get up and sit back down. You don't want a chair that's going to slide away from you or uh, is a bit wobbly. You can see I've got really solid wooden chair so make sure you get a good sturdy chair. All right, so go ahead, get yourselves ready, and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so let us begin. Now I've got my chair sideways, just so that you can see what I'm doing, but I would suggest you face me when we're doing this. All right, so are we gonna sit in our chair? And really important with this is that you're not gonna lean back in the chair, because you wanna work the core as well. So I want you to be sitting really upright, as upright as you can possibly be, and then looking down at the feet, we want to have those feet a little further out uh, than the knees, so the toes are forward of the knees. All right, and you're going to try and align the second toe with the ankle with the middle of the knees. All right, so a lot of the work we're going to do today is all about getting that alignment correct so that you're going to work the muscles evenly in the legs. Okay, so we're sitting up nice and tall and we're going to have our hands just hanging by our sides. All right, if you feel you do need support, then of course hold on to your chair. But if you can do it without, please do, because this is really about trying to give you more strength in your body. All right, so what we're going to do from here is we're just going to lift the right heel up and place it down. We're going to lift it up and place it down. So it's lift and lower, lift and lower lift and lower, lift and lower, one more, lift and lower, going on to the left side, so lift and lower, now look down at your feet and check your ankles not dropping off to one side, you want to keep everything aligned, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower and lift and lower. Now we're going to try and flex at the ankle. So can you see you're going to lift your foot up. This is working the muscle on the front of the shins or, and down the side of the shins and then place the foot down. So lifting up and placing it down. Lifting it up and down. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Sitting nice and tall. Lift and lower and lift and lower. So don't start slumping in your chair, lift on up. Let's do the left side, lift the toes and down. So we're flexing the foot and lower. Lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. And four, three, two, one, and down. Okay, so you can feel that, can't you, in your calf muscles and around your shin. So you know what muscles you're working. Let's move up a little bit now. So we're going to work the muscles around the knee. Okay, so we're going to lift the leg up 
and we're going to extend the leg out bend it and put it back down so it's not big lift just a little lift just foot off the floor now extend from the knee as much as you're able bend and place the foot down all right so you're lifting now look down at that knee as you extend the leg try and keep the alignment ankle to knee bend and lower down lift extend bend and lower lift extend bend and lower lift extend bend and lower and lift extend bend and low we're going to go on to the left side so let's sit up nice and tall so you're working your core your back your bottom here we go lift the leg up extend bend and lower lift 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 extend bend and lower and lift extend bend and lower pretty challenging isn't it that one okay so from here i want you to bring your feet in a little and we're going to use the back of the body so we're going to stand up so very important make sure you know where your chair is okay any issues with your balance just be careful on this one we're going to do this without the arms so i want you to bring your arms forward we're going to work the back of the body so you're going to do a little lean forward till you feel the weight in your feet then you're going to press into the feet and bring yourself up okay then you're going to sit back so think bottom back make sure you know where your chair is and come back down so you're going to rock forward press up bend and come down rock forward press up bend and come down rock forward and up now if this feels really uncomfortable on the or worrying for you on your balance you can reach for the chair and down yeah otherwise try and use it without and down we we'll do four more lift bend and down forward lift bend and down forward lift bend and down and forward lift bend and down well done okay so from here we're going to stay sitting up and we are going to reach the leg out and you're going to have this right leg out in a straight line so very important with knees as we get older they we get a lot of wear and tear so what we want to do now is try and think about the muscles around the knee really tensing so you're going to hold that leg there and you're going to try and tense the thigh muscle so nothing's going to happen you might see your leg lift a little bit but you're just going to tense it and then release so you're going to straighten tense and release so there's no big lift it's a straighten and then you're just tensing the thigh release it and lower straighten tense release and lower straighten and tense release and lower one more straighten and tense release and low let's go on to the other side so extend the leg to start uh, extend the leg sorry to start with and now we're going to tense the thigh release the thigh and lower so it's not the big lift we did earlier it's an extension and it's building awareness of these muscles around the knee that's what we're trying to do and lower so as you extend now think of the kneecap pulling up towards the hip and lower down extend tense release and lower 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 well done so from here i want you to bring your right leg back so you might need to bring your bottom your left bottom cheek into the middle of the chair 
okay so you can take that right leg back and the idea is you're going to try and find a stretch here so I've tried to design all these exercises so you don't need to really move much from your chair particularly if you were at the point in your arthritis where it's really painful just standing up okay this is to get you that mobility so we're just going to reach back with that leg until you can feel a stretch so I'm very flexible so I can sort of reach back by here I need to go right back but I think you should find just by taking that leg back you're going to start to feel a stretch here if you're not then you can extend the leg a little further until you feel it there nice big stretch all right and you're just going to hold that stretch take some deep breaths just relax the body well done and then you're going to bring that leg in and we're going to shuffle around to the other side so you want your right bottom cheek in the middle of the chair left foot back all right and then you're just going to the point where you can feel the stretch I'm running out of space as I can see you can see here I'm going into that little stretch there all right and you're going to hold it there well done and then you're going to bring the leg back make sure you're sitting in the middle of your chair and you're going to lift your right leg up and you're going to put your right ankle over the top of your left knee okay so the right knee is out to the side now you might find that just doing that is enough and if you're feeling it in your hip great that's where you want to stay if you're not feeling it yet you want a bit more stretch you're just going to keep your back straight but start to hinge forward and my goodness I can feel that that's a lovely stretch that's right inside the hip okay and again you're going to hold it just breathe into it good and then we're going to take that foot down to it the other way so left foot across the right knee sitting up nice and tall you can either stay there or if you want to feel more stretch you're going to keep your back lovely and long and hinge from the hip until you feel that stretch in the knee uh, in the knee sorry in the hip that's what I meant like knees on my brain at the moment all right well done and coming back up very good all right I'm going to turn my chair around now because you'll need to see me from the front for this one okay hopefully I'm in the middle there so what you're going to do I'm going to mirror you you're going to sit up nice and tall you can hold on to the chair if you wish if you want to challenge the core then you're just going to sit up nice and tall with your back off the chair if much as possible we don't want to be leaning back okay because we're trying to strengthen here 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 and all around here as well okay so we're going to lift the right leg up and we're just going to do a little circle out two three four five six seven eight and take the leg down other side lift up circle out two three four five six seven eight and place the foot down now we're going to reverse it okay so we're going to lift the right leg up we're going to go out to the side forward and down a little harder out and around three four five six seven eight I can really feel that in my core that's great and other side out two three four five six seven and eight and coming down all right I'm going to turn back around and we're going to do the back of the leg all right so this one you've got to visualize you've got to use the brain really to kind of visualize what we're going to do but essentially you're going to have the leg out and it's not the same as the exercise we did before we're going to emphasize pulling back with the leg 
Now it's really hard to describe this, I'm going to think of a really good way to uh, give you a description so you can visualise it, but essentially I want you to imagine that you've got something under your heel and you're trying to push it back and it's really not going. So you can feel that resistance, resist, 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 and then extend, lovely and easy that bit. So you're going to resist. So think of heel, trying to push back something behind you, and out, and again. Heel going back, now look at that alignment, can you see my leg is even shaking doing that, and up one more time, push back, back back and rest the leg down. So we're just going to do four on each side because I know this is super challenging. Even for someone like me, I do four hours of Pilates every day. These are quite challenging, these exercises. So we can extend the leg out. You can imagine there's something under your heel, you're trying to push it back. So push back, 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 back and reaching out. And again, push back, 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 and reaching out, again pushing back, 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 and reaching out one more, pushing back, 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 and reaching out, well done. Now I want you to just press your bottom forward or wiggle your bottom forward, Hold on to your chair, make sure your chair can't easily tip forward on this one and just reach that right leg out like so. Okay, so you've got the foot flexed and you're just going to lean forward, I hope this is going to be okay, leaning forward just till you're feeling a little stretch through the back of the leg. And then you're going to come up bring the foot back, other foot forward. So make sure you feel steady in that chair before you do this, okay? You might need to check how your chair behaves, which is what I did before I started filming. And we're gonna go forward, 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 till you're feeling that little stretch. That's it, and coming up. And then from there, we're going to try and do a little inner thigh stretch. So I'm going to turn towards you for this. And what you're going to do is take your legs out to the side as far as you're able. Okay? So we're trying to work from the hips. And then taking your hand onto your right knee, you're just going to press back. So you're not actually pressing into, you're pressing onto the knee bone, but the stretch is actually here on the inner thigh. So you're just going to press back as far as you can and release. Press and release. Press and release. Press and release. For four, three, two, one, and back. Now the other side, so sitting nice and tall, pressing back, and release, back, and release, back, and release, back, and release, and four, three, two, one, well done, and bringing everything back in, and we're going to finish with eight more of our standing exercises. So feet underneath those knees, tummies in, hands away if you can, lean forward, press into the feet, lift up, and then you're going to bend, think of sitting your bottom back to reach for the chair, and down. So two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Did I say eight? I think we're going to do ten. Nine. And back, a last one. And back. 
well done and that's you all done for today so that's your chair workout for your knees i hope you enjoyed it do press the like button because every time you do that you're helping me grow the channel and that is my aim is to be able to deliver exercises to you full time because at the moment i film in between my teaching of my regular classes so please do share with your friends i hope you enjoyed it and have a lovely day see you soon take care bye bye